Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do key value, document, relational, and graph data in GUN. So here I am at gunjs.herocoapp.com, which is the same example app that you get if you npm install GUN, but it's just online, so you can go ahead and spam it with all sorts of stuff that you want. So let's jump into the chat app really quickly. It loads in, new data came in. Um, I'm not going to actually use it, but it provides me the console over here on the right that I can play around with stuff. So let's get started. Well, first, we're going to create a ref, uh, instantiate gun. And we're going to instantiate it relative to some server. And I'm just going to reuse the demo server. There we go. Next, we're going to create just some data. So very ref gun dot put hello world now if I do ref dot val we're able to get the result of that value however it should be noted that because I didn't put a key on this thing and it doesn't have any connection or relation to any other data point in the entire system I won't actually be able to recover that data because it's just going to be lost in all of the data out there so we want to put a key on that. We do that by doing dot key. I'm going to use some probably a random key. I'm going to copy that as proof that it will work. So, oh, that key is already being used. That shouldn't ma matter. Alright, so because we have a key on this, even if I refresh, I'm able to find that data again because uh, I need to instantiate gun first. If I do a gun dot get and then I paste in the key and dot val, sure enough, there it is. Um, I'm going to create a reference to that guy, there, ref equals gun dot get. And again, same thing there, prints out the value. All right, so that's a key value structure. So what if you want to add a document? A document is just a nested JSON object. So <clears throat> let's put into there some, let's say, name mark my current location is Provo Utah actually although I bounce around between California and <clears throat> alright so let's have some nested structure I'm gonna invent a friend I mean I'm a programmer do I really have friends I don't know so this friend's name is going to be Fred and invent a fictitious age for him, 27, and Fred is going to have a pet because maybe Fred is also a programmer, and so the only companion <laughs> that he can get is a pet. Man, I'm being harsh on us programmers. And the species of the pet is a kitty cat, of course, because that's the scientific name for a cat. And the name of the cat is Fluffy. Cool. So that got put into gun such that if I do ref.val again, you see that we have the location, the friend. It merged with my previous object before. And if I then want to print out the rest of the object, I have to use gun's um, uh, path traversal, which would be if I do ref.path friend dot val, I get back Fred. So gun always gives you the partial, the, the smallest minimal partial of the data that it can so things can be streaming and fast and then you use the path to traverse into the deeper parts of the data. And this error here is just because I think WebSockets timed out and it's not really an, an issue. It's something we're going to be fixing later. So if I want to then get the pet on the friend, I just do friend.pet. I use the dot notation inside a path, and I val it out. And there you go, we have kitty cat. And I can also even go further. I can go into an individual property like name, and it'll just print out um, fluffy, and the name uh, name there is the field of the, of the object. All right, so that is a document, something that's deeply nested, and how you can then step into the deeply nested data and um, retrieve it. So the next thing is we want to do some sort of relational thing. 
Let's say we have some regular JavaScript objects like mark, name, mark, location, currently, Provo, Utah. And then we have their Fred, name, Fred, age, I don't remember his age, what, 27, and that's, that's good enough for me. We want to create a relation between these two things. So I'm going to say mark.friend equals Fred, and Fred.friend equals mark. Okay. Now, in JavaScript, normally, if you were to stringify mark, it's going to throw an error, and that's pretty annoying, and that's why most document databases are document databases. They can't do this relations, but relation databases do. The sweet thing is if you just toss this, I'm going to create a new gun reference, uh, gun.put. If I just toss mark into it, it's going to save the entire, the whole relation. And let me give that a key really quickly so I can recover it. Um, gun te, demo rel. I'm going to copy that just in case I want to pull it back out. All right. So if I do rel.val, we indeed get mark. And if I do rel.path friend.val, I get Fred. But the cool thing is, from Fred, I have a relation back to Mark under the friend property. So if I do friend.friend, .friend, I get Mark again. And this can go on in an endless series of friend.friend.friend. .friend .friend. It just alternates between those properties. And so it turns out that not only is this relational, but you can combine this with a document structure to get uh, graphs as a whole. So I hope you like this quick little tutorial and example, and try it out yourself. Thanks.